Alright guys, so I'm going to show you a cool tweak for Mac OS X Lion. Um, natively you have uh, apps that can go into full screen mode. So, for example, iTunes can go into full screen mode. If you have a small laptop or just like to use all your screen real estate, this is very good. I have a 13 inch and sometimes it's nice to be able to use all the screen uh, for whatever I'm doing. So, for example, on iTunes you can go ahead and go full screen and it's very useful. Uh, just get encapsulated in the one app that you're in and it works very well so uh, it's great but the one thing is that most apps don't have it only a few apps that Apple provide uh, comes with the full screen so say in Spotify I wanted to do the same full screen feature I can't there's nothing there so until they update it then there's I'm stuck I can't go full screen mode um, but what I'm going to show you is a cool tweak to get full screen mode in all your apps um, before it's native in all apps. So you're going to want to go ahead and go download Symbol, S-I-M-B-L, and this will be in the uh, uh, box below. So you can just click there. Once you download that, you want to get Maximizer. And then once you download those, go ahead and unzip them, and you'll, you should have these two files. Um, go ahead and open Symbol run the package and it'll only take a few seconds once you do that then what you want to want to do is go into finder you're going to go shift command g then you're going to type in slash library go ahead and click go then you're going to go application support then you're going to scroll all the way down to symbol then you're going to go into plugins and there should be empty what you're going to do is you're going to drag in this maximizer bundle that you unzipped. Once you drag that in, you're done. Um, so that's all you have to do. Go ahead and I'll restart Spotify so I can show you. I want to show you this is what this is what the full screen app looks like again. And before I couldn't do that in Spotify, so let's go ahead and open it up. And now you can see the arrows here. So I'll go ahead and do that. And it's the same experience as if I'm in iTunes. It looks exactly the same. So you can do this in pretty much any app. Um, so we'll go ahead and uh, see. Let's go into Adobe Lightroom, which is what I use for my photo editing, and it's this is definitely one that would be used uh, in handy. Normally, you don't have the full screen mode, and you go ahead and just use all your screen real estate for what you want. So uh, that's definitely a good uh, tweak. So this helps quite a bit. It's very simple and it's very easy. Uh, to uninstall it if you don't want it anymore, just go ahead and remove that package from the folder and put it in the trash and then run the uninstaller and you should be good. So it's very quick, very easy. Uh, follow me on Twitter at Gonzo3303. My Google Plus is down below. And uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe, rate, comment. Thanks, you guys. See ya.